Hello. In this video, we'll be looking at Redwood's Run My Jobs with a simple chain demonstration. As part of the demonstration scenario, we'll be doing the following things. First of all, we'll create a Redwood Run My Jobs process chain. After that, we'll add two steps to it. The first is an SAP ABAP step, and the second is an email process. Following that, we'll submit and execute the process chain, and finally, monitor the results. So let's have a look at the solution in action. So what we're going to do here is go into the process definition. And what we do is go definitions, chains, and we're going to add a new process chain. So we click on the plus sign. So the first thing we want to do is decide what we're going to call the process chain. So from the chain editor, which is what we're in now, we can set all these parameters and values. So we'll just click on this and the properties panel in the right hand side, will decide on the name of the process chain. So we'll call it PC to give it a process chain prefix and we'll call it listing. And then underneath that, we'll put a description. So now what we're going to do is add the two individual steps to the process chain. So we'll click on the first one and then in the process definition parameter on the right hand side, we can just use the IntelliSearch to look for what it is we want to run. So we can just type in SAP ABAP and select the ABAP print. Now what we need to do is just fill out some of these parameters. This includes the SAP system, the client, the job name, the ABAP program we're going to run, which in this case is going to be the uh, list of all users logged on. And that's pretty much it. So now what we want to do is add the second step to the process chain. So we do that by hovering here and clicking on the plus sign. And you can see very, very similar to step one. We've now got step two. And what we want to execute is going to be a system send mail operation. So we can just type in system mail. And once again, it's give, opened up the properties panel to say, who do you want to send the email to? What's the subject? Anything that we put in the text forms part of the body of the email. So we can just say, as requested. So now what we want to do is identify to the email step that we're defining here, the data that we want to include from the previous step. So in this case, we say the relative process is going to be step one, job one, and the file, we want to say any output in a text format that's generated, we want to include that as part of the email. So we'll just put in a star dot txt and we'll wildcard it. So that's all we need to do. So we've created a very, very simple two-step process. First of all, executing an ABAP program to give us a user listing. Second of all, to send the output from that to the appropriate email system. Before we do that and execute it, what I want to do is actually say, where do I want to run it? And this gives us the opportunity to say, I want to submit it to a certain uh, process server or queue to distribute the workload. So I'm going to go into process control, click on the default queue. And in this case, I'm actually going to put in system so I can let the appropriate process sort itself out and, uh, and let the, the system manage the operation for me. Let's go back to the diagram, click save and close. And we'll now see that our new process chain is at the top of the list here. So what I can do from this screen is just do a right click submit. This now takes us through several steps before we actually execute the workload. The first of all is the time and dates. Now we're going to, in this case, choose now, but we could apply very comprehensive and powerful coloring techniques to it, but more on that later. Let's just click next. 
we'll say it's picked off the queue. We'll click next again. And we're now choosing the option to actually monitor the workload on the screen. So we can see I've selected show process in diagram. We'll now click submit. What we'll see is first of all, we've got a submission success in the green at the top. And now if I hit refresh, both processes run. So it ran the, the first SAP ABAP activity and it then generated me the email using the exhaust data as input for the attachments. And finally, we've got a little smiley at the end there to show that everything worked okay. So what we can do is look at that in the email client and we can see that that's appeared there with the text that we specified in the body of the email as requested. And it's also included anything with a .txt as part of the attachments for the email process. Thanks for watching. For more information on Redwood Runway Jobs, please visit redwood.com.